for the sign of Aries hello and welcome to my channel so Aries for the recent past which could have been could have been a, a week ago could have been a month ago maybe six months ago or could be, could have been more but we've got the seven of swords and it's paired with the high priestess so the seven of swords it's showing someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions it sometimes means prying into someone's life where you don't belong and if you sense that someone is spying on you then you're probably right and if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern you might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy <laughs> Now, that is the Seven of Swords, and it's paired with the High Priestess, which can be a very spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect so it's important that you pay attention to your dreams now if you keep a dream diary or a journal it's going to be a really good idea so in the recent past like I said we got the high priestess and the seven of swords I'm sh it's showing that uh, you could have been keeping tabs on someone in the recent past maybe paying a lot of attention to their Facebook or um, well this seven of swords it's known as a stalker um, it's also known as using strategy being manipulative using tactics um, but because it's with the high priestess I'm picking up that you kept a lot of tabs or you watched someone that you were very attracted to because the high priestess is is a time when you find people um, literally throwing themselves at you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just attracting all types of people. So, you might have found yourself really attracted to someone who came across as, um, uh, well, the high priestess sits really pretty. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go with you. Found someone that you were really attracted to. And you kept a lot of tabs on this person. You maybe you might have even stalked this person in the recent past. Not all of you, Aries. Just just some of you. Um, or you just you know paid close attention to their social media accounts. Something you did. You you really you were really drawn to this person. Um, now let's take a look at the present time. <laughs> So for the present time, we got the Tower card, and it's with the Two of Cups. So the Tower card is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, and we all know that can be a disaster. So you got to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way, but this doesn't have to be drastic, because change, it's the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, guess what? It's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. So just know you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart this month. Keep in, keep in mind that dreaming. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality, too. Now, this Tower card, it's paired with the Two of Cups. 
The Two of Cups is about, well, it refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not his only connotation. It speaks of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going really well and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So with this Two of Cups paired with the Tower, well, for the present time, this is July, it looks like you're dealing with the ideal partner, a very romantic love. Um, there's a harmony. There's harmony in this connection. Um, yeah, it's like I said, it's the ideal partner, partner or partnership. It's a true love. But it looks like it comes crashing down. Something brings a tower moment with you and this ideal partner. Yeah, it looks like it, it just it falls apart or could fall apart. But let's get more clarity and just take a look at what's going on with the challenge. So we got the Five of Pentacles and it's with the Five of Cups. So this Five of Pentacles, as you can see this lady, she's walking away from her door or trying not to go. Somebody's taking her away from the door. Like, don't go inside the house and the dog is barking at her also. So it could be a time when you're feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could start to feel alone, but just know you have the capacity to change that, so reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. It could be something like that. But just realize that this is not the case, so do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is, if you need help, is to go out and ask for it, because the help you need, it will come. Now, it's with this Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. It could be when it talks about love um, in a relationship. You may have just ended... The relationship or it could be about to start the process of ending a relationship with someone but just realize that all is not lost you're probably not yet ready to move on into a new relationship but this card this five of cups it reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well it works for us. What I'm trying to say is that you might find, you could find some disappointment coming up with the person you're dealing with, but you, you might find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication, it might be extremely clear. Um, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, it's about watching where you put your focus when you get the Five of Cups and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, this challenge that you got coming up, it looks like there's some disappointment and you feel left out in the cold and it looks like you're dealing with a really special love here with the two of cups but it looks like something something's gone wrong yeah something something happened something fell apart with a real deep love here now let's take a look at the outcome 
and let's let's uh, recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So we got the Three of Pentacles for the outcome, and it's with the King of Wands. Now the Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career questions, but it's a really good overall card to get in a reading. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work that you do, even if you don't get a paycheck. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Yeah, now this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's with the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands is showing a man, he could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This person will want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is very positive, very positive. Now, when it's not representing an actual person, it signifies that men around you, they're supportive of you and they think really well of you. So, you will be feeling really ambitious, goal-oriented, and you have the will to stick to a task or anything that you would like to accomplish. Yeah, or you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So the King of Wands, it, it looks like someone's, um, someone is, uh, has very caring and protective feelings about you with the King of Wands. And with the Three of Pentacles here, um, well, the Three of Pentacles is about, it's good, it's really good. It's about teamwork, collaboration offering benefits because you see how these people are looking up to this man as he's showing them what he's doing for work or just showing them something and they're looking up at him like wow isn't that great so it's about benefits some great benefits so Aries basically for this reading uh, it looks like because I, I can't I can't take my eyes off of this two of cups here it's really shouting out more than any card here more than the tower card for some reason this two of cups it, it's just it's it's giving off twin flame soulmate a lot of you Aries you you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame. And I'm picking up that you kept tabs on this person. I don't, I'm picking up you're not living with this person. This is someone that you watch. You're very attracted to this person. You might have been watching them for a long time. Now this could be someone that you feel is your soulmate someone that you feel is a twin flame and it looks like maybe you, maybe you tried to come to union with this person and it looks like it it, it comes apart it falls apart maybe you or your person that you're trying to come to union with your soulmate maybe they're not ready yet Yep, maybe they are not at the same level that you're you're on, um, because we know when twin flames come to get when, for, for for twin flames to um, come to union, um, both of them have to be willing to step out of the matrix. So it looks like you or your person is not ready. I'm picking up it's your person. If this is a twin flame or yeah, if it's, I'm picking up it's a twin flame. I'm, I'm, this is starting to turn into a twin flame reading. So, yeah, some of you Aries, you've been watching or keeping tabs on your twin flame um, that you have a lot of attraction for 
with the high priestess here. And you might be thinking about trying to come together with this person and it looks like it could fall apart. It's just not the time. And then it looks like for the challenge, uh, you're disappointed. Yep, with the Five of Cups here, you're disappointed, very disappointed. And it makes you feel left out in the cold. Because this is probably something that you really, really wanted. Because in the recent past, you, you kept tabs on this person. Now, the recent past, keep in mind, this could be a week ago, it could be a month ago, it could be six months ago or more, but uh, you really like this person, and you probably believe that this is your twin flame or soulmate, and it, something happens where it, it just falls apart. Yeah, if you're thinking about trying to come together with this deep love, it looks like it falls apart and you feel left out in the cold and you're disappointed. And for the outcome, we've got this Queen of Wands. There's someone else. There is someone else for you, and it could be a soulmate. Because this person, this King of Wands, will have very, very caring and protective feelings for you. Very much so. This person will want to um, they will want this King of Wands is very supportive. And this person will think really well of you. So, this could be a new person coming towards you, the King of Wands. Or it could be someone that you already know. And this is a good thing because it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles, like I said, this person, they will, they will like you for who you are. They'll, they, have, they will have caring and protective feelings about you. And maybe you already know this person. But it's good. It's with the Three of Pentacles. And the King of Wands is very positive. This person will be someone that you will have teamwork with. Uh, this will be a very quality relationship with the Three of Pentacles. And Three of Pentacles, like I said, it's about offering benefits. So this person brings a lot to the table. A whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a plus, but whatever happens with this, this ideal partner, it just looks like it, it comes crashing down and it looks like you had a lot of hopes and maybe wishes for this, someone that you maybe even, someone you've been watching, somebody that you've been keeping tabs on that you you're really drawn to and it's I'm picking up it's not just anybody it's someone special like a, a deep union that's what the two of cups is about some soulmate or twin flame it's just they're not ready to come to union they're not ready to step out of the matrix and that's what happens a lot of times with twin flames because if you can't step out of the matrix then it's it's not going to work so I'm picking up that's probably what's what's going to happen or for some reason it's you two just are not coming together and it, it feels like it it's it fell apart or it's going to fall apart but there's someone there's someone great out there right around the corner. Yeah, so what a lot of people say is don't wait on the twin flame. Don't, don't wait um, because 
a lot of times they just do not come to union. And a lot of people wait and wait. And it just doesn't happen because it's hard, It's really hard to get two people on the same page at the same time. So the good thing is that you could know someone right now that has a lot of emotions for you. And uh, it looks like this person would be really good for you. Yeah, so sorry about that if a lot of you are expecting to come to Union with your twin flame this month. Um, or you have high hopes for some some romantic or ideal partner. But it looks like it, it falls apart. Something happens. Something big. And it just, um, it leaves you disappointed. 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 